Today, we would like to thank all the firefighters that risk their lives to keep us safe. Firefighters have a tough job, and they can use all the help they can get. From land, air, and sea, these vehicles are giving them just what they need. This is Glenn, and today, we are bringing you 15 firefighting machines that help quench those blazes. Number 15. Initially produced by Canada Air and then by Bombardier beginning in 1967, the Scooper has three models, including the CL215, CL215T, and the CL415. The CL215 was built to be a specialist fire bomber over dense forest regions. Powered by two twin WASP R2800 radial engines, these can scoop up to 1,440 gallons of water in 12 seconds from a groundwater source. Number 14. The Unimog U5023 with the optional double crew cab provides enough room for up to seven crew members. And its round roof hatch allows for firefighting directly from inside the cab while transporting materials, tools, and other implements. It wets the tires and windscreen if the flames come too close to the vehicle. And the heat protection package includes extra coverings for necessary cables and tubes to protect them from heat. The transmission with its off-road group can be driven at extremely low speeds even over rough terrain, while different power takeoffs allow the outfitting and operation of firefighting centrifugal pumps, winches, generators, hydraulic tippers, or loading cranes. With the Unimog, the crew of firefighters can reach their destination even under the harshest conditions, whether it's mud, sand, or boulders. Number 13. Munson Boats out of Burlington, Washington, specializes in the design and construction of aluminum landing craft. An abundance of open deck space, numerous high-speed options, watertight compartmentalized hulls, and a drop-down bow door are vital ingredients for any fire or rescue boat. Has a 2,500 gallon per minute fire pump with two bow monitors, a rooftop monitor, and eight fire hose hydrants. Electronics include three multifunction displays with 36 mile radar, black box sounder, and six wireless headsets. Winning the Best Fire Boat Builder Award by Workboat World Magazine gives testament to the capabilities, quality, and design. Number 12. The LUF-60 with an adjustable flow rate from 105 to 790 gallons of water per minute is a remote-controlled extinguishing robot that can be used in a fire where no firefighters can go. This has been built for large fires with an extinguishing capacity up to 4,750 gallons of water per minute. A crawler track system gives this mobility as well as flexibility, making it capable of bulldozing barriers out of the way. This will operate in the most difficult circumstances, including large oil refinery type fires. Number 11. The Conair Firecat, also called the Turbo Tracker, is a firefighting plane that is used by France's Securité Civile that currently operates a fleet of nine aircraft which are scheduled for retirement by 2022. These come with a pair of Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A and 67AF turboprops and carry water in an 870-gallon retardant tank. Number 10. Ericsson Incorporated, a global aerial services company that has fought fires for nearly 50 years, owns a fleet of 20 S-64 air crane helicopters and the Aircrane Helitanker is recognized as one of the most massive and most efficient firefighting machines in the world. This is equipped with a 2,650-gallon tank, capable of snorkeling fresh or salt water, helping in both the initial attack of fast-moving fires and structure protection. The Aircrane is capable of picking up water in areas a fixed-wing aircraft cannot, and it is able to come in for precision placement of the water on and around residential properties. Number 9. Global Emergency Response, the U.S.-based joint Canadian-Russian-American venture has been trying to sell the Aleutian plane, 
a 180-ton airplane that dumps more than three times the amount of water carried by the most significant U.S. air tankers to the United States for fighting large fires. The Aleutian plane is a 1970s retrofitted military transport jet that can deliver up to 10,000 gallons of water from two huge tanks in either one or two large drops. Even though this is used in a few areas in the world, this has been refused by the U.S. Forest Service due to drawbacks such as being too big, going at too high of speeds, it can't scoop up water or drop retardant, and it can't land at many airports. Number 8 In 2016, the Port of Long Beach, California received its new fireboat, the 108-foot Protector. The Protector has 10 water cannons and can shoot out 41,000 gallons of water per minute up to 600 feet. The boat is equipped with a 40-ton bollard for towing, a dive platform, an onboard crane, boom deployment to contain spills, a command information center, and facilities for medical treatment. The boat has a military-grade HVAC system to protect the crew from airborne contaminants, and the deckhouse citadel can be sealed from chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats. Number 7 the L-188 Electra was the first large turboprop airliner built in the U.S. Unfortunately, orders for the plane stopped after two fatal crashes. After changes were made to the design for safety, the Electra was allowed to continue firefighting and still flies today. One of the most effective large-capacity air tankers for the control of wildfires, the L-188 Electra is fast, maneuverable, and has a lower cost than next-generation air tankers and can carry 3,000 gallons of fire retardant. The four turbine engines of this aircraft have a range of four hours and the power to fight fires in the most extreme conditions. Coupled with the computerized constant and variable flow RADS-2 tank, the performance is unsurpassed by any other turbine-powered air tanker. Number six. After years of perfecting the Bulldog Extreme 4x4 brush truck, How & How Tech has provided firefighters with a permanent solution to devastating wildfires. With a 300 to 1,000 gallon per minute pump capacity, the Bulldog can deliver more than 2,000 gallons of water or foam to remote areas. The Bulldog's size and durability, bumper sprayers to monitor nozzles to engineered approach, departure angles to skid plates, quick-release mud flaps to drop bumpers, and full-tube chassis protection make this the most thought-out firefighting platform money can buy. By streamlining factory production and perfecting the engineering process, How and How Tech has been able to reduce the Bulldog's final cost while increasing its overall capacity. Number 5 the new Rosenbauer 8x8 Panther is produced at the Wyoming-Minnesota facility of Rosenbauer America. The sleek, high-tech truck is a totally integrated vehicle and fire extinguishing system designed for high-performance, precision firefighting. This uses 3,000 gallons of water, 400 gallons of foam, and 500 pounds of dry chemical, with an optional 460-pound clean agent system. The pump has a capacity of 2,350 gallons per minute at 180 PSI, with the high-reach turret having a capacity of up to 1,500 gallons per minute, and the low turret having a capacity of 1,250 gallons per minute. The panoramic windshield offers improved safety and vision, and the crew is protected in a crash-tested cabin which exceeds the world's most strict safety requirements. Number 4 these single-engine amphibious airplanes are also extremely useful in firefighting due to their maneuverability and ability to take off just about anywhere. Powered by a 1,350-horsepower Pratt & Whitney PT6A 67F engine, this has a working speed around 125 miles per hour when fighting a fire, 172 miles per hour when cruising, and a range of 800 miles. The fire boss operates at around 75 miles per hour and because they are light and nimble when skimming across the water, 
They can scoop up to 820 gallons of water from sources close to the fire. The main tanks are capable of dispersing water, foam, gel, or fire retardant. Number 3. Developed by the Dutch, the MTCR Micro Turbine CAFS robot, or Compressed Air Foam System robot, has a four cylinder Hatz diesel engine that was adapted to run on kerosene. This fire robot moves on a crawler chassis, has a length of 18 feet, a width of 5.5 feet, and uses compressed air to force out a mixture of water and foam. The turbines blow full open at nearly 6,340 gallons of water per second through the nozzles. This is easy to transport by air with hooks on the chassis and platform. The platform with the turbines can go up and down and back and forth while the Caterpillar undercarriage rotates around its own axis, so a fire can be fought at different heights and angles. Number 2 Dubbed the most powerful fire boat in the world, designed by Robert Allen Limited of British Columbia and built by Nichols Brothers Boat Builders of Washington, the 115-foot Warner L. Lawrence, called Fireboat 2, was acquired by the Los Angeles Fire Department in 2003. Fireboat 2 is powered by twin 1800 horsepower MTU 12V4000 engines, will do up to 13 knots and comes equipped with a retractable diving platform, an Alaska Marine crane with a 50-foot telescoping boom, and a fully equipped EMS room. This has 10 fire monitors, including large monitors that shoot water 600 feet at 14,500 gallons per minute, and two underwarf nozzles in the stern, discharging water at 2,000 gallons per minute. Number one. The Global Super Tanker, a modified Boeing 747-400 that can carry 18,000 gallons of fire retardant, can drop a line of retardant for a mile and a half. But it's not just the speed and size that makes this powerful. Its pressurized tank system atomizes the water when it's released rather than just dumping it, meaning it won't crush cars or buildings, and a resident or firefighter who happens to be under this big dump of water will get wet but won't get killed. Another plane that was having a tough time getting to fight fires because of the U.S. Forest Service got activated by California to fight its first U.S. wildfire in August of 2017 and was used during the latest fires, including the Camp Fire in Northern California. This is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.